I used to be broke as a joke, now I'm having whatever I like I still been fighting my demons, it's been one hell of a fight I'm tired as hell, but I swear that I never get tired of trying I'm cool as a wind, but I still can't let that nigga cross my line Fuck what you heard, I don't care who you are Came from the dirt, now I shine like a star Ask how I'm doing, I tell you I'm fine Look in my eyes, you can tell that I'm lying Never thought that I would make it this far I sing my little song as I play a guitar Was writing this song and I ran out of time What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 773 Josh, and we're back with another video. Um, I feel like it was no better time to start this video than right now. As y'all can see, I'm outside. It feel good, you know what I'm saying? But I just woke up very, very grateful, man. You know, um, my life is a movie, man. And I just thank God for giving us all free will. Um, I thank God for giving us the ability to just wake up and go after whatever uh, we want, you know what I'm saying? I know there's a lot of people that got different situations, different problems going on, but, you know, God made us creators, man, you know what I'm saying? I could just honestly think back to the worst times, you know, where I was going through the most, you know, never knew, you know, whether life was going to get better, how life was going to get better, and, you know, last night, you know, as y'all know, you know, for those who don't know, I'm in Budapest, Hungary, um, uh, I got a video before this video to drop, um, so y'all might be a little bit behind, but, you know, I slept on the couch last night, you know what I'm saying? And that's because I'm literally living my dreams in reality right now, you know, um, for the longest, you know, for the past couple of years, like I've always, you know, been dreaming, desiring and wanting like, you know, a condo, a penthouse with a view, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, that's what we did. You know, we, 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 we penthouse with the view, you know, um, in Budapest. So uh, I want to go ahead and show you guys, you know, because last night, you know, I slept on the couch and I'm just watching TV. And I'm just looking at the, the city lights, you know, because we got the glass view. And, you know, I woke up this morning and I just I just got to thank God, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't I just had to wake up. I couldn't lay down no more. I had to get up and just thank God because it's insane. It's insane, bro. Like that's 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 all I can say is it's insane, man. So I'm gonna show you guys the view um, as you know the, the sun is coming up, uh, so that y'all can kind of see, you know, you know, yeah, I'm from the south side of Chicago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera. You know, I'm gonna show y'all the view, but I'm gonna come over to the edge and y'all gonna see. So this is the right hand side. As y'all can see, you know, there's buildings and everything like that over. Y'all ready for the event? Alana? <laughs> Alana? Yes. You ready for the event? <laughs> yes, I'm trying to get my eyelashes to work. <laughs> to work. <laughs> what y'all looking forward to most? Today, Educator Day. Learning. Huh? Steve. Steve. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to none of it. Nah, I'm just joking. But yeah, nah, I should be lit. I like the way that I bring this set up. They send me pictures and whatnot of it. But yeah, yo, we're on our way to the event. Uh, should be a very, very lit experience. Especially for the first event. Can't wait to see the rest of Just made it to the event, y'all. We're walking up to the arena. Sanaya got that shit on, y'all. <laughs> she got that shit on. I ain't gonna cap. Got Some Crystal. Slides. Crystal got that shit on. Got the look. Yeah, <laughs> she. <laughs> nah, she. Alana, y'all already know how she be stepping yeah. with the crop top jacket on yeah. that she left at the. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, snap. <laughs> But yeah, y'all, I'm excited. It's like hitting this way. Hold on. It's not hit. But yeah, I'll catch y'all once we get inside so y'all can see. No, but if you're a real trader, if you're here right now, you're trying to elevate your trading game. If you do not read this book, Trading in the Zone, a lot of people think it's about candlesticks, it's about setups and all that stuff. No, again, it's about the mindset. Best book, bro. 
What's one common denominator you guys have heard all day this morning? Right mindset. You got to have the right mindset. You got to think clearly. You got to operate. Trading in the zone talks all about that. Number two, the best loser wins. All right? The best loser wins by Tom Hugart. Very, very good book. Very good read. And then last but not least, number three, The Disciplined Trader, also by Mark Douglas. Again. Got my New York brothers with me. <laughs> Man. First part of the event was lit. Y'all seen Steve with his virtual ABCs. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy 773 Josh, and we are back with another video. And today, <sighs> it's day two um, of us being in Budapest, Hungary. Not day two, is it? Not for me, actually. Uh, I've been out here for a minute. Um, I think like three days maybe now. Uh, but we have our second day of our event today. Uh, it's going to be very, very exciting. Uh, first day was Educator Day where, you know, individuals, a part of our community um, and a part of our platform had the ability uh, to learn in person from some of the top successful, you know, entrepreneurs, investors, and, you know, they were able to get the value in the game of what it takes to become successful in those specific areas. So uh, we had day trading experts, stock experts, crypto experts, social media experts who were literally just giving value, giving sauce, giving tips um, on how to take things to that next level. And so um, today is day two. Um, it's morning time. Uh, the event starts at 10 at 7.54, so about 8 o'clock. Uh, we're about 20 minutes away. And um, today I think I'm going to dress up. You know, yesterday I wore like uh, some jeans, some calm, casual. I had like a little uh, shirt. I didn't even take no pictures. Like I might have to throw that fit back on, but don't tell nobody. I might have to throw that fit back on and take a picture right there on the balcony. For the ground, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it ain't even faking it, but it's like, it, as a business owner, you gotta, you gotta put the content out there. So it's like, I could throw that quick fit on, yeah, whatever. I think I'm gonna throw that fit back on, and take a picture for Instagram. Um, but today, I think I'm gonna suit up. You know, uh, I seen some very, very nice looking people. Uh, they were looking real good, you know, today, uh, yesterday, and um, I was like, man, you know. But I usually don't dress up like that on a first day. Like, you know, first day is pretty much casual education day. You just sit back, chill, learn. Uh, second day is like um, like where they start to give more in-depth entrepreneurial business building trainings. And the third day as well. So, you know, the second day and the third day is really like mine, you know. But I think the third day I might be a little bit casual as well too. I'm not sure. Uh, but I think I'm going to suit up today. Uh, get some good professional pictures in. Um, but yeah, y'all, so today should be a very good day. I'm very excited. Uh, I'm going to show y'all the fit um, and everything like that. Y'all going to be able to see uh, what uh, Alana, Shania, and Crystal wearing. And yeah, so we're going to get there uh, probably on time. You know, ain't no point of uh, showing up super duper early or anything like that. We're going to get there on time. And yeah, I'm going to try to do way better today with the vlog. Um, I don't know what we're doing after the event yesterday, last night didn't do not much one of my guys actually um he's an educator on the platform uh he actually proposed to his wife on stage which was major and um i went back to his airbnb to his hotel took shots with them celebratory you know and then i just came back here we ordered waltz which is like doordash uh we ordered some this place this place called wasabi you know bad b 50 flow eating hibachi you know what i'm saying we, we ordered some we ordered some like hibachi grill type food uh, ate that and then I fell asleep, you know, it was pretty much a done deal, but uh, Day two of the event you guys um, Stay tuned. It's gonna be lit. I'm gonna catch y'all once I get dressed. Let's get it All right, y'all. So it's 827. Um, I'm about to go ahead and start getting ready, but um, I just ever since I woke up this morning or even last night uh, What was it probably like fucking? 
uh, like four in the morning. Um, I've been getting a lot of DMs and what you call it, of people like, you know, just reaching out on some like interested, wanting to learn and wanting to understand. And um, as I kind of mentioned, I probably mentioned this in the video yesterday, or I think I mentioned it on Instagram live for sure, for sure today or whatever. But going back to the crib is game time. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, you know, I be, when I go to business events and stuff like that, I be meeting up and seeing certain people uh, who kind of in a sense inspired me. Like one of my guys, uh, Mikolaj, he's 19 years old um, in Poland where the average income is like $600 a month. He's making about $5,000 on the verge of making 10,000 US dollars a month in Poland. Um, he's literally a part of the top, like 1% in his country um, based off of what he was able to do in starting his online business or whatever. And so it's like, um, you know, every time I link up with them and, you know, kick it with them, vibe with them or whatever, it just reminds me uh, how hungry and how ambitious certain people could really be once they get their hands on the right opportunity for real. So, uh, you know, going back to the crib, I'm not going to lie to y'all, it's game time, more in-person events, um, more intentional trips and traveling, um, and more helping people really launch their businesses for real. So um, before getting ready, probably in the next like for the next 15 minutes, I'm really about to just go through my entire DMs, uh, go through all of my messages, comments, all of that stuff, and just create a new a list in a sense, right? Um, this is something that I did starting my business out back in, what, 2020? Made a list of like 17 people who I was like, all right, cool, I'm starting this business. These are the first couple of people that I really want to run with, the first couple of people that I really want to get stuff going with. And from here, we're just going to pretty much see where it gets. And now the team has over 230, 250, almost 300 people all around the world. And it all started with that list of 17 people. So um, what I'm about to do is just make a whole brand new list. And uh, as soon as I get like, I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to have these conversations before I get back to the crib. It's something about uh, being in a new environment or, you know, being in a productive environment, going to events and stuff like that. Uh, you kind of put yourself in rooms and in, in surroundings with other people who are hungry just like you. And then when you go back to the crib, you kind of dolo, honestly speaking, unless you already have a, a unified organization, a unified team or a group of people who you regularly ground with in a sense. Um, and honestly speaking, in terms of Chicago, I haven't really had that since, you know, I got started, you know. Um, so pretty much I'm going to go ahead and make that list. And before leaving uh, Budapest, at least, you know, I'll definitely... I'm gonna make them phone calls and just have real conversations with each one of these individuals personally um, and just make a personal game plan of how, you know, going back to the crib, we could really take things to that next level. And so that, you know, the content that y'all see going back to the crib, it kind of lines up. So um, I didn't want to leave y'all out of, you know, this little, I feel like this could, this is going to be um, a major a major pivotal thing, you know, leading into the work that y'all are gonna see in the next few months or whatever. Uh, so I wanted to just record the video, um, add this into the video, document it. Um, I'm not gonna really probably go too depth into talking about the names that are on the list. Uh, maybe three months from now, I might show y'all the list or whatever. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and make that list. And then uh, we got the event starting at, I believe 10. So we're probably gonna leave out of here around like nine something. And then um, once we get back to the Airbnb, uh, just game plan, conversate with everybody who was at the event, uh, see their takeaways and stuff like that. And then honestly speaking, I'm finna hit the phones, um, massive phone work before we leave um, and just really paint that vision for real. At the end of the day, uh, it's it's all about, you know, just putting the, putting the opportunity in front of people. You know, like when I first got started back in 2020, um, I gave a lot of people the chance and the opportunity to, to take things as far as it is where it is now. And a lot of those people are really just watching from the sidelines at this point because they didn't either believe in it enough or they didn't understand it enough. And that's perfectly fine. You know, I'm never here to convince or, you know, beg anybody to believe in the vision that's that's had. But um, I feel like a lot of people have been sitting back watching for some time now and they're really just waiting on that phone call. So. Uh, we're about to make that phone call once again. And, you know, from this point moving forward, uh, we're not looking back. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I look at it like an elevator, you know. We took the elevator from ground zero three years ago uh, to, like, the 50th floor in a sense. And, you know, I'm bringing this thing right back down to ground zero. 
uh, to give people an opportunity to ride this thing all the way back to the hundredth floor. So um, I'm going to go ahead and knock out this list that I'm about to get dressed and then we're going to head out um, and then y'all going to see the grind and the phone work um, following it and I'm going to put it in the video to kind of hold myself accountable. I don't like waiting, why would I wait on you when I know I can do bad by myself? I don't like working, I swear I hate punching that clock, I would much rather work on myself. You know I'm smoking and I don't need no one to smoke with me, I can get high by myself. I'm living my life, I'm like fuck these niggas, fuck these bitches, cause I know I'm bad by myself. I hop in that V8 and smash on the gas and I swear I look just like a bat out of hell. I hope you've been doing you cause I've been doing me, as you can see I've been doing it well. I've been doing some things and I play every day because honestly I don't know who else to tell. Alright y'all, we in the tech right now, uh, I don't know my way to the Definitely very, very excited for this one. You know, education day is cool. These last two days is what, what I really like the most about uh, these events. And uh, it's the team's first time experience in itself. So, uh, definitely looking forward to the ride that they won't get from it all. So he just made it. As y'all can see, we got Alana right here. Got Shania in the back. Shania love brown. I ain't gonna lie. You love brown. It look good on you. Uh, we got Crystal right there. Hold on, let me get them from this angle so y'all can see they fit. I know Alana always having that shit on. Shania. Crystal. No word. Shania looking like she didn't already touch six of them things. <laughs> and we got big chairman 750 Matthew Rosa right there in front of us and his wife. <sighs> Man, bro. Imagine walking behind somebody making 750k a month. Imagine walking behind somebody making 750k a month. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you will you will get certain words. You will get certain emotions over there. Okay, guys. Imagine if you want to have a life which belongs to your future. Unless you don't go there, you don't you don't experience it. You cannot have th those feelings, those emotions, in order to achieve it. If you are continuously looking your present results, your present situation all the time, what type of emotions you will get? In order to get the right emotions, in order to achieve those goals, that statement, you have to go and experience your future. Thank you for the kind words, Mr. Rosa. My name is Mark, and that's the good part. I know the good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh, but what I realized a long time ago was as, as much as I enjoyed building, my gift or my calling, if you will, was more in the training field. Uh, I enjoyed what they had to say because when they were speaking as far as like uh, God and mental health, because that's where I am right now and how um, it's really you can't grow or change until you change yourself and that's, that's the path I'm on right now. I cut up my day once for the win. I just put up in that black made bet you can't see in. Up got pen and racks, I keep that strap with one cock in. Not even close with family, why the fuck would I want friends? Let's go. Fuck on one Comment when to learn how you can too. Nowadays, all of my enemies want to be friends.